Okay, so we're going to continue to chronicle this project. Uh, right now it's just a lot of beginning parts, but I want to show you the, this product. If you ever get a tap stuck in a hole, I don't know if you can uh, see that, but what it is, Omega Drill dot com, okay? Go there, and if you're tapping and your tap breaks in the hole, which is going to happen at some point, get a little overzealous and, and break the tap. Okay, let me just show you what I got going on here. There's the. There's two different two different size taps. I mean, uh, uh, bits, little one, big one. Oh, actually, it's four. Sorry, two little ones, two larger ones. Ended up using the the uh, third largest and then eventually went to the largest one. I was able to uh, get most of the tap out. A little bit was still left in the bottom, but I didn't worry about it because I just uh, rotated the material. I was uh, drilling a hole in this. So as you can see, I got the, uh, I got the sprocket on the, on the shaft. Look it up like this, maybe a little better view here. And you can see there's a bolt sticking in the side of the, right? There's a bolt sticking right inside of this, uh, this, this axle shaft or this jack shaft. And that's a threaded hole. So, uh, it worked. That's the 5 16 by 18 hole. And, um, took care of that baby. Got that on today. Now this uh, this sprocket on there is not the one that's going to be in this position. It's going to be a really big one, but I just put this on there to see if the hole would fit with the sprocket adapter, and it fits great. The hole wasn't tapped perfect, but it should hold up. It's good enough. Hopefully, I'll build more of these, and when as I go along, you know, just get, keep getting better and better. So that's what's going on with that. So remember, if you're getting into machine machining like I am, working on projects. Uh, and you break a tap, you want to get it out of that hole, omegadrill.com. Good stuff, really pricey, uh, 140 bucks, but uh, it did a great job. Okay, and uh, for you guys who don't have mills, you're just working with drill press like me, and you don't have a lot of bucks, and you just do yourself a favor, get yourself a V-block. That's what a V-block looks like right there. And um, V-blocks are great if you're working with round material. Kind of like that, okay? Because with the round material, you can you can just put it right inside the V block, and then you clamp it down with uh, those little bad boys right there. There's one right there, and there's one on the other side. Can't really see it, but and they just they clamp down with those bolts sitting in the V block. And I, I turned this little uh, V clamp upside down, and um, it works really good. You can see it's still got the tap sitting in there. It took me a while to figure out a few things with this uh, hand tap, but it's, it's working good. Unfortunately, Chinese made, but I couldn't find one domestic made. Uh, but I try to stick with American made products. So there it is. Today, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I just ordered uh, for you guys who are in, into go karting and stuff. Um, I just ordered that right there from. Uh, Azusa, Azusa Engineering, they're out in California, and uh, this is an import product, they import these products, but whatever. So I'm going to take that sprocket adapter right there, it's meant to fit on a quarter inch axle, uh, sorry, a uh, three quarter inch axle, which is not what that is, that's an inch. And then uh, this big sprocket right here, this big aluminum sprocket I'm working on. It's hard to tell, but there's there's four little marks I put circles for the bolt holes. They're gonna go over those four bolts on this side here. So uh, basically, let's see if I can put these next to each other and kind of get a view of what's going on here. 
that big sprocket's going to go on that that uh, sprocket plate through those four four bolt holes, and then the sprocket adapter on the right will go on the three quarter inch um, axle shaft. So this is all from our energy project, alternative energy project. Um, we're going to be using four or five hundred pounds to some serious um, sprocket ratios to um, get about 500 RPMs on the other side with enough torque to turn a small generator. So uh, wish me luck. As I said before, I prototyped this on a little Lego set and it worked It worked good, but uh, I don't know if it's going to scale up, you know, so uh, in the process. All right, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed my uh, crazy little videos. Mad scientist, engineer machinist. And uh, sticking with me along with this uh, this project, we'll see how it turns out. Got some rain today; just started raining here in South Florida. My little crappy Geo, great little car though. Okay, guys, love you all. God bless you. Talk to you soon.